Hold on. Quadcopter banking left. <laughs> Pretty smooth, right? Smooth as satin bell bottoms. Smooth as my grandma's elbows. <laughs> Tricking out this drone wasn't easy, but my new mod quad does more than just fly. Look! Super Supremo Snack Station. Amazing! Magnificent Makeover Station. <sighs> Amazingly amazing. Uh, do you have an excellent emergency system? Why would we need that? Because you're steering us right into that! According to plan. Threading the needle, and I'd be all for it. But this time, me no likey. Huh. I really thought I had the steering thing down. I was sure I wouldn't crash this time. This time? You mean you've crashed before? Only 128 times. But you know what they say. Get out while you still have all your limbs? No. The 129th time's the charm. <gasps> Uh, did you just peep? Lila, that wasn't Shawnee. Look! Aww. He's so cute, I would never take a selfie with him because he might outshine my cuteness. He's so cute that I want to hug him. No, Polly. The bird is cute, but he's a wild animal. He doesn't look wild. If you don't believe me, let's search it. Keywords, bird, Littleton, super cute. He's a tufted pipspringer. See, they live only in the wild. And as with all wild birds, they're not to be touched. Right, but um, what if he touches me? Oh, I know, right? He loves me and I love you too. I always wanted a pet bird. I think I'm gonna keep him. Uh, wait! Rules are rules. No matter how cute, we have to leave the bird alone. Okay, I guess. I'll miss you, baby bird. <laughs> Polly, look! Are you imitating me? Hmm... He wants to be just like you. It's called imprinting. It means he thinks you belong together. I think we belong together too. Oh, Shawnee, please, can I keep him? Uh, decide fast because we need to get out of here now. <laughs> Captain Collywobbles? Go home. <sighs> right this. Whoa! Peepers playing tricks on me again. Captain Collywobbles, go home and no more trying to get Polly's bird. <laughs> okay, you can keep him. Welcome home, baby bird. I bet you want to clean up and relax, so. Ooh, I know. Spa time! Exactly. Ready? Tiny power! Whoa! Good things do come in small packages. So, Shawnee, any info about what spa treatments tufted pip springers like? Nothing official. But I read a book once where these alien bird creatures got these laser brain massages and... I'm sure that doesn't apply. I guess we'll just have to wing it. <laughs>
along. Oh, hey, girlfriend! You would not believe the tiny sweater we found for Baby Bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's something I... Come on! Let's show him all his new stuff. Wait! I have to tell you something. Hey, Baby Bird! Baby Bird! Baby Bird? He's gone! I don't see him anywhere. Did Captain Collywobbles get in here? No, he's been napping on my bed all morning. Once you look past the fact that he tries to eat us whenever we're small, he's really a good cat. Then where's my bird? Baby bird! Oh, no! Cool your jet black jumper, Polly. He's a bird. He flies. He can't, Lila. He doesn't know how to. He must have found a way to hop up there. I'm coming, baby bird. Genie, set room to bounce-tastic. As you wish, Polly. Tiny power! You can let go! I've got you! There, you're safe. He's trying to fly away. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Fly away? But he loves it here. He hasn't even tried on his new sweater yet. I did more research. Every year, tufted pip springers fly to Woodgrove Preserve to meet with all the other pip springers. When they're all together, they migrate south. There's a live stream from Woodgrove Preserve, see? All the birds are there. They'll be taking off soon. Johnny, come on. Does this bird look like he wants to fly away from me? Well, no. But it is his instinct to fly. Then he can do it right here in Littleton. We'll teach him. Okay, you're all set. You ready? Wings in place. And all feathered up fancier than a peacock. Then let's fly. Oh, no. My hair frizz alert says a big storm's on the way. What are we going to do? We'll teach him fast. <sighs> I meant, what are we going to do about my hair? Maybe we should wait until tomorrow. Or the next day. Or never. Safety, you know? The bird wants to fly today, so today we fly. 130th time's the charm, right? <laughs> He's doing great! At the count of three, you'll go solo. Ready? One, two, three! Yes! You did it! You're flying! Wait, what? Where are you going? He's heading south, the direction where the other tufted pip springers are. No way! He's just lost. Baby bird, if you want to stay with me, Polly, your favorite person in the whole world, fly this way. See, I knew he wanted to stay with me. Let's circle around town, then we'll bring him home. But remember, that website said his home should be Woodgrove Preserve. Why? He's never even been there. Home is where the heart is, and the baby bird's heart is with me. Now let's fly! When have you done everything I have asked? You know the storm is coming! Yes, Gigi, I know the storm's coming. I'm bringing the flamingos in right now. Huh? <gasps> A baby bird! Oh, I want him, I want him, I want him! Ha! Ah, got you, my new favorite pet ever! No! Polly, are you sure you can land this thing? Are you 
okay? No. Mentally, I may never recover, but physically, I'm fine. Me too, I think. Let me see. Oh, the tassel looks good for me. Yep, I'm fab. Phew, the Mod Quad's okay, but I'd better keep it safe in my backpack. Tiny power! <laughs> now all we have to do is get up there and save my bird. I can't believe he's stuck in Grizel's penthouse. Can you imagine the decor? <laughs> we'll get him out. <laughs> This is a good idea, Polly. There's no choice. We have to save Baby Bird. Whoa. This is seriously freaky. Lions and tigers and gnomes? Oh my. <gasps> Incredible. Even her dolls need makeovers. Imagine if she had your locket. All those miniatures would be made from real people. <sighs> Won't happen. She's not getting my locket, and she's not getting my bird. <gasps> my bird! <coughs> no sign of the Grandes. Let's move! Excuse me. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Ew. Eesh. Shh. We'll get you out of here. Don't worry. I love you too, but we have to run. I have the flamingos, Gigi. <gasps> Sure looks just like my new baby bird. Hmm, that one looks just like. Huh? Gigi must have gotten a Polly Pocket figure for her collection. <gasps> oh, it is my new baby bird! And Polly Pocket's trying to steal him! Uh oh, run! <laughs> No, Tiny Polly Pocket, you wait. Wait till I get Gigi and tell her I captured you. Guess who's getting a second helping of dessert tonight? Oh, Gigi! Gwen! Gwen! Honestly, if Grizel's gonna decorate with birds, she should at least go with some that add a splash of color. Throw in a parrot every once in a while. But you gotta admit, the biological accuracy is remarkably impressive. There's always a way. We just have to find it. <gasps> I know. Go big. Good thinking, Shawnee. Go big! Oh, boy. Go small! Tiny power! Tiny power! <laughs> <laughs> I guess going big isn't always the answer. Now all we need is for Grizel to have a time machine in her collection, so we can't go back and do that again. Her collection? I've got it! <gasps> we can use the gnome gardening shears to cut through the wire! My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Hurry! This better be good. I was very busy building important things. I got Polly Pocket! 
Well, where is she? Uh, but she was right there. Uh. Hey, what the? Pocket? No! Okay, as long as you get us home before the storm hits. I'm not going home, Shawnee. I'm going to Woodgrove Preserve. But I thought you wanted to keep him. I did. But then we got trapped in that cage. Tiny humans don't belong in bird cages, and wild birds don't belong in my bedroom. You should be with your family. Woodgrove Preserve, here we come. Uh oh, here comes the rain. <laughs> and what the heck is that? Brazil! I'm gonna get you, Polly Pocket, and your nasty little worm eating bird, too! Evasive maneuvers, punch it! On it! Where are they hiding? Oh, these storm clouds are so thick! <gasps> Sweet satin slacks, we got rid of her. Don't be so sure of that. You won't get away from me, Polly Pocket! I want that locket! She's not giving up. What do we do? We're slowing down. Uh, why are we slowing down? All part of the plan. <laughs> You're losing power, Polly Pocket, but I'm just getting warmed up! Polly, what are you doing? We can't get through that hole in this wind. We'll get smushed! She's right. Statistically speaking, in all probability, we'll end up a sprinkle on the donut. We're gonna take that chance, Shawnee. Time to thread the needle. Ha 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 ha! Can't run away from me now, Polly! I'm too close! Should believe in you too. And don't worry, I'll help. We'll lead you right to them, okay? Aw, oh, I'm gonna miss you, but I know you'll be happy. You belong with your family. Ready? Go! Do what we do, baby bird! Flap! Flap! Come on, guys! Flap for him! Flap! 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 
okay, Polly? Yeah, I'm good. Is it the bird? Do you wish you'd kept him? No, not at all. It was definitely right to let him go. Then what's the matter? I don't know. I'll miss him and all the fun we had, like when we gave him that makeover. Maybe you don't have to miss that. Ooh la la, you're the perfect dream. <laughs> 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 